Hello, Psych2Goers. Did you know with the recent movement on mental health awareness over the past few years, people are gradually coming to understand more and more about matters of depression, anxiety, trauma, and other mental disorders? There's also less stigma surrounding the need for therapy and mental health care nowadays, thanks to the countless public figures who have bravely spoken up about their own struggles with mental illness. Do any of your favorite celebrities come to mind? Still, there remains a lot unknown about the true nature of depression, the world's most common mental illness. And even more, it's only those struggling with it that can truly understand. So with that said, here are 10 things only depressed people will understand. Number one, difficulty with communicating your emotions. Within the depths of depression, there may reside complex emotions such as sadness, hopelessness, helplessness, anger, fear, shame, and guilt. For others still, depression might manifest as an unending sense of emotional numbness and desolation. Either way, putting your feelings into words and communicating them with others is a constant struggle when you're depressed, especially when loved ones are asking you how you feel or how you're doing because they suspect something is wrong. You don't want them to worry, but when you're in the clutches of depression, you just don't know what or even how to tell them. Number two, the guilt of not having a good reason for being depressed. Why are you depressed? What do you even have to be depressed about in the first place? Sound familiar? Perhaps one of the most difficult things about having depression is the pain of being misunderstood or judged. Do you agree depression needs to have a tangible reason? Though you understand that depression is something that affects people of all ages, genders, races, classes, and social backgrounds, you still can't help but feel guilty when others judge you for not having a good reason for being depressed. Number three, the anger over constantly being told. I understand. Do you find it hard to believe when others say they understand what you're going through? Another thing not talked about enough when it comes to depression is how frustrating it can feel to constantly be told by others that they understand, when really, all you wanna do is tell them that unless they've been diagnosed with depression themselves and been inside your mind, no, they really don't. Just because they felt really sad sometimes, or this terrible thing happened to them once upon a time, does not mean that they know how it feels to have clinical depression. Number four, the pain of losing your love and passion for life. How long has it been since you picked up a paintbrush or strummed a tune? The American Psychological Association states that the defining feature of clinical depression is markedly diminished interest or pleasure in all or most all activities. Simply put, this means that when you're suffering from depression, it's a struggle for you to find joy or enjoyment, even in the hobbies and activities that you once loved so much. It makes you lose passion for life. Depression makes you unable to feel motivated to do anything anymore, and so it robs you of even the simplest of life's pleasures. Number five, the frustration of not being able to just snap out of it. Have you been told that a few days of rest and relaxation can cure depression? One of the many reasons why depression is such a devastating mental illness is that a lot of people don't really understand its true nature. They think that people who are depressed can just snap out of it or just need to think more positively. There is no built-in switch for this. Your feelings are every bit as real as they feel. You're not obligated to feel any other way just because others don't feel the same. Number six, the compulsive desire to self-isolate. Why do counselors and therapists alike stress the need for those struggling with depression to have a good social support system? Even though you understand the need to be surrounded by supportive loved ones, the truth is when you're depressed, you'll most likely feel a compulsive desire to isolate yourself from others. With no energy or motivation to engage in social interactions, you tend to prefer isolation constant difficulty with communicating, finding enjoyment in things, leads to struggling with feelings of low self-esteem and self-worth. Talking to people and staying in touch can often feel too overwhelming when you're struggling with depression, triggering a need to withdraw from society in general. Number seven, people thinking depression is the same as sadness. Sadness is a part of a healthy spectrum of human emotions and is actually quite normal to feel from time to time. Depression, on the other hand, is a serious and debilitating mental illness that needs to be treated with professional help and therapy. These things are not all the same, and yet some people just can't seem to grasp the difference. This can often feel very frustrating, especially when others disregard what you're feeling as mere sadness and tell you not to think about it. Number eight, 
people not understanding that mental illness is real. Many people still seem to think that depression is a choice and mental illness isn't real. But just because there are no physical manifestations to see doesn't mean that the suffering you feel is not real. It's not just in your head. If you're able to feel it, then it is very much real. When others downplay its potency, it often leaves you feeling as if you're doing something wrong. As a result, you may even choose to remain silent about it instead. Number nine, people thinking depression is the same for everybody. Every individual's experience of a mental disorder is different. Depression doesn't look the same for everybody. Some people might stop eating and struggle with insomnia, while others might overeat and oversleep. Some people have high functioning depression and may not even seem like they're struggling at all. And for others, their depression might force them to lie in bed all day and do nothing. Nevertheless, all experiences of depression are valid. And number 10, learning to celebrate the little things. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, when you struggle with depression, even the littlest of victories deserves to be celebrated. Got out of bed today? Smile. Managed a short conversation with someone. Took the time to brush your hair or take a bath? Give yourself a mental pat on back. Those are all very, very important achievements to someone with depression. They might not mean much to other people, but for you, struggling with mental illness on an everyday basis, they make up the good days that remind you why you need to keep fighting and why it's so important to keep holding on. It's important to remember not to allow others to dictate how you should feel. Just because others are not feeling the same does not make it any less real. There's no need to cover up or force yourself to change these feelings. The fact that you're feeling it is reason enough to validate it. If you are struggling with depression or any other mental illness, please know that there is always hope and help and that someday things can be better. Seeking professional help can help you on the road to improvement. Leave a comment down below about your experience with depression if you'd like. Please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there needing to hear this. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.